Hello, it's the Blender Tree here, and today I am redoing my video uh, on the Library of Babel. They have since then fixed the glitches I was running into, so now you can open the books and see the random stuff. Because basically, the Library of Babel is basically a giant library with near an infinite amount of books because it's uh, 10 to the 4,677 power, which is a lot. Uh, so it might as well be infinite and each book um, each page in the book has 3200 characters and I think each book has 420 pages and within each page any sentence or statement that could ever be said is said so Michael Bay buys cat is in there somewhere somewhere in this library or um, cotton candy falls from Manhattan that's in there somewhere um, any f sentence you can think of is in the library somewhere now chances of you finding something legible are pretty slim oh and by the way does these weird uh, people persons um, and you click on them and they give stuff um, they're supposed to be the librarians um, also, if you get tired of looking through the library and not find anything, let's see if we can find something real quick before I say you can't find anything. Da, 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 da. Yeah, nothing. If you get tired of looking for stuff and you want to actually see something in the library of Babel, you just push M. It's a search function, and you, you type what you want to look for. The cake is a lie. And I'm going to put a bunch of letters afterwards because it will give you the page number and take you to the page number or whatever. But that small sentence would be hard to spot out in all that text. So I'm making it a little bit more noticeable. Um, push search. And this correlates to the website what wall, shelf, and book number would be and what page. And the hexagon, which is basically the name of the hexagon it is located in. And as you can see, the names are really long because, well, there's a lot of hexagons. Uh, so um, I just push go and it shows me the book. And as you can see, the cake is a lie. Ah, I guess I'm freaking out about the cake is a lie. But there it is. And... I don't think it actually takes you to the hexagon and you just stay in the same place you were, but it's just kind of neat to actually be able to find something. And it's connected to the Library uh, of Babel website, which is also really cool, but I, I really like this because, well, you can actually walk around in it. And like I said, I'm not sure if... I know the actual Library of Babel wasn't infinite. I mean, it might as well be. You never could make it through it in your lifetime. The game might be infinite. I'm not sure, or it might go with the constraints of the Library of Babel, which still, technically, it'd still be infinite, even though it's not. It, it's close enough. To, just, just trust me. Um, but yes, it's actually really nice and relaxing too, because um, you know you can just sit here, th go th through, and browse it for hours, and look at all the cool text, and it's really rewarding when you find something like. Um, on one of my earlier takes of this video, which I did horrible on, um, I found the word buy, and I can't find it again, but I did find a word. You have, oh, I found the word lot. Haha! -ha! Just when I was talking about how I couldn't find any words, I find a word. It's a three letter word, so. Yeah, I found a word. I'm, I'm happy now. I found a word in this video. But, yes, um, what would be really nice and really rewarding would be to find, like, even a small sentence like the cat with spaces and all that'd be awesome and technically if you look long enough you'd probably find it now the chances are very slim which is why it makes it extremely rewarding because if it was easy then well where's the reward or where's the challenge but it's quite fun oh and also to exit you just jump down the center I would but I think that would mess up my recording software so I shall refrain from doing so but this has been the blender tree on this in the library battle and yeah thank you for watching